What's up party people? Chad coming to you with a quick ride update. Just before New Year's, we were rounding out our 100th day in our second quarantine, but luckily the first week of January, we transitioned into step two, which uh, means that it's not a strict quarantine now, but we still have a nighttime curfew during the week and we're quarantined on the weekends. Unfortunately, as soon as we transitioned into phase two, the weather turned ugly and we have had consistently high winds since that time. Um, now, I know people hear me complain about the wind a lot, but when you're on the windward side of the highway and you get hit by a strong gust, it can blow you into oncoming traffic, which is a bad thing. When you're on the leeward side of the highway and you've got a truck or a bus going the opposite direction, it feels like you get drop kicked with all the turbulence. Uh, and it's just that much worse. It's just magnified when you're two up and you have that higher center of gravity. So we've been keeping one eye on the weather and we've also been keeping one eye on these health department notifications, kind of trying to coordinate our travels. Um, in order to travel during phase two, we have to actually uh, apply for a vacation permit. Now we're only given one of these. Um, on the outward leg of your trip, you only have 48 hours to travel. So basically we have 48 hours to get from you know, our home to whatever our destination is. Now, unfortunately, um, you know, riding a moto and pitching a tent in various locations is kind of a, a square peg in the round hole that they consider a vacation here. I guess they expect you just to like get on a bus or get on a plane and check in your hotel and just stay there. It doesn't really work for what it is we're trying to do. Um, and on top of that, you also have to fill out this health affidavit and take that with you, which is only valid for 24 hours. So it's difficult to get from point A to point B while meeting all that criteria and having all this updated paperwork with you. Uh, we're trying to travel down here to as far south as we can get on the Chilean side of Tierra del Fuego. Unfortunately, we have to pass through another phase two region, which is around Porvenir. Now, these vacation permits don't allow us to travel during the quarantine, so we still can't travel at night and we can't travel on the weekend. So schedule wise, there's a lot to consider, especially since we have to have all this paperwork on the incoming and the outbound leg of our trips. As you may or may not know, Tierra del Fuego is actually split between Chile and Argentina. Now we still can't cross the border into Argentina, which means that we won't be able to go down to Ushuaia, but about 50% of the island is still in Chile. So the, the northern and eastern parts of the island are generally fairly flat and exposed to the winds. However, the western side of the island is much more mountainous and the terrain gives us much more of an opportunity to find shelter from the wind. So really, as long as we can get past this exposed portion of highway and past this step with some fairly mild winds, make it across and make it past Porvenir while dodging the curfew down into this southwestern part of the, the, uh, the island to be able to explore some of these mountains and some of this native forest down here, we'll be in good shape. And then we just have to figure out how to reverse it all and get back into town without uh, missing our window or blowing the curfew. So that's kind of the update. Like I said, keeping one eye on the weather, the other eye on the health department. Um, unfortunately, they're talking about putting us back into quarantine because of an increase in the number of COVID cases down here. Of course, if they do that, that means we can not apply for that all important vacation permit, which allows us to travel. So we might not be able to post anything for the next couple of weeks with any luck. Hopefully we'll get a couple good days worth of weather and we'll be able to get down to the aisle. We'll spend about a week down there and then we'll have to get back and start editing. Hopefully wherever you're watching from, you guys are faring much better, much better in terms of both COVID and weather and you know, whatever it is you guys are uh, striving to get done right now. Even though we're uh, worlds apart, we're all kind of in this together. So fingers crossed and uh, here's hoping for better days up ahead. Cheers.